at this meeting we discussed the Poplar trial. Poplar is a randomized phase two study, but a rather large study, almost 300 patients, in second and third line treatment of non-small cell lung cancer, comparing our current standard, docetaxel, with immunotherapy with an anti pdl one antibody, atezolizumab. So the objectives of that trial were to compare outcomes in terms of overall survival and look at safety data, but also look at a predictive biomarker data, because for this type of new therapy, immunotherapy with anti-PD-1 or anti pdl one antibodies, it will ultimately become very important to have good biomarkers, at least this is what I think about this field. What we want to do in immunotherapy with checkpoint in these bitters is change the activity of the immune system so that the immune system starts to fight the cancer and it becomes a real treatment for patients. Of course, the interaction between tumors and the immune system is a very complex one. And it's rather, perhaps we were too enthusiastic in the beginning, it's rather simplistic to think that it will be only a simple pdl one staining and the same for every molecule, the same for every test. So the landscape is complex. Um, so what we have seen in Poplar is first of all, and that's the good message for patients, the good message is that the treatment with atezolizumab clearly was better in terms of overall survival with a hazard ratio of 0.73 versus docetaxel and it was a significant finding in this group of almost 300 patients. So we do improve relapse treatment in non-small cell lung cancer. In terms of biomarker, for that drug for that type of development, it is a particular biomarker that looks not only at the tumor cells, but only also at the environment of the tumor cells, meaning the interaction with all the lymphocytes, with antigen presenting cells and everything, because it's probably a complex mechanism. And this biomarker, looking at pdl one staining both on tumor cells and on immune cells, well, compared with other biomarkers that we have seen in the field, this biomarker is a bit more complex. For a pathologist that needs to do the test, this is a bit more complex. But perhaps this is part of real life. It's a complex process, so probably the biomarkers that we need to develop for checkpoint immunotherapy are probably a bit complex as well. And at the end of the day, there will ultimately, I mean, technology evolves, there will, ultimate, there will ultimately be automated assays and whatever. So what we have seen in, in Poplar in particular is that the effect, the, the increment in overall survival gain with atezolizumab versus um, docetaxel, there was a kind of uh, a proportionality. Uh, the stronger the biomarker was, either on tumor cells or on immune cells, the stronger the pdl one staining was, the stronger the treatment effect was, with hazard ratio really going from uh, smaller to larger hazard ratios, meaning y y you can have a sense of the magnitude of the overall survival benefit for the patients by looking at the intensity of the biomarker. And this is, I think, uh, rather new and innovative because we have one registered drug in Europe, nivolumab for squamous cell lung cancer. There the biomarker that was in that set of patients did not work at all. There are biomarkers that do work, but often they work as a yes-no phenomenon. Uh, if you have the biomarker, you can have the treatment. If not, you cannot have the treatment. What we see here is really a gradual uh, system so that you can really decide what kind of benefit uh, do I need to consider this treatment? And in the European context also, what kind of benefit do I want to see in order to register and reimburse this treatment? And ultimately in Europe this will become very important. Of course, Poplar is a phase two randomized study, but it's three, almost 300 patients. But anyway, um, there is this very similar confirmatory large phase 3 study with uh, more than 1,000 patients, exact, more or less the same design or practically the same design, and that phase 3 study is now fully recruited and we look forward of course to the outcome of that study. If it confirms the popular findings, I think it's a very strong 
uh, biomarker dataset voor checkpoint immunotherapie en non-small cell lung cancer.